Hello and welcome back guys and today we're back here with another tutorial and this tutorial is on how to install Feed the Beast which is a new mod pack which has come out and it is updated to 1.4.2 I'm pretty sure and I'm also going to be showing you how to install mods like Optifine and any other mods performance enhancing mods into this mod so what you're going to want to start off to do first is you're going to want to go to the first link in the description which is feedthebeast.com and you'll click on this button, the download button and you can download the jar, the exe, the server or if you need support, click there. So we're going to download the exe I've already downloaded it so uh, discard um, so Downloads. I should still have it in here. F F F. Yeah, feed the base launcher dot exe. So you're gonna want to run that. And it will open. And um, it'll most likely ask you to update to the launcher you can you can click yes so yes and it will just update your launcher to the latest launcher so we're just waiting for that to reopen all right so there's different mod packs in this there's the voxel mod pack which is uh for creative servers, so for creative people, um, a pyramid mod pack, which is only back in 1.2.5, uh, the electricity, which is all about uh, power, universal power mods, electricity systems, um, magic, which is like um, uh, mistcraft, thumbcraft, and other things like that. But I'm going to be showing you how to install this one, the main one, the Feed the Beast. So you're going to want to click on it and you'll click launch but I can't, if I, when I click launch it will just open and log me in because I've already installed it. So it'll come up and it'll ask you to install and all of that will be good. So let me just uh, wait for this to load and then I'll quit out of it. So as you can see it's opened up a console back here which is just for people to see what's going on and an easy way if you get an error message you can just paste it to pastebin.com or copy and paste it so you can ask them on the forums so uh, I'm just quit out of this and we will open it again just close that so to install a mod like Optifine uh, why is it flashing? All right. to install a mod like Optifine you go will go for whichever pack you want so I'm obviously on Feed the Beast, Edit Mod Pack, and now mods are more, uh, forget that, that was, I failed at that. Mods are more like uh, mods that you would put in your mods folder normally when you're installing on normal Minecraft. So I'll just bring that up. So in your normal Minecraft, your mods folder, these would be mods that you would normally put in here. And if you would add those, you would just add mod, uh, find the file, and click open, and you'll add it into here. Now, core mods, I am not too sure what they mean, but they're examples, I guess. But a jar mod is the one is the mods that you would normally drag and drop the files all into your jar. So Forge and Optifine. So let me just disable that for a second. And now, when you get to this screen, you will want to have downloaded Optifine 1.4.2. I'll put the download link for that in the description, the link to their forum. Now, I'll add a mod, and I've got it in Downloads, which is in Harry Downloads. Now, Optifine. Here we are. Uh, and you want the HDB2 here. 
So this is the one you want to download, Optifine 1.4.2 underscore HD underscore B2.zip. And instead of extracting it or anything, you just click open. And there you go. It's installed in there. Now, and then uh, you obviously click out of it and launch. Now, depending on when you first launch it, it'll ask you for a location to save it. I just saved it all to my desktop. And you'll get uh, the launcher.exe this folder and then some logs when you log in so in the folder you'll have the inst mods and you can instead of going and doing it through the launcher you can drag your um, jar, jar, mod, jar mods and drop them into here and this is the one I disabled so I can just delete that and then here is the normal minecraft bin mods so here's all the mods in here so you don't have to do it through the launcher, it's just a lot easier to do it through the launcher, in my opinion. So if you found this helpful and uh, you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like down below, because I really, it really, I really appreciate it. And also, if you want to see more content like this, more tutorials or Minecraft videos, uh, click that subscribe button only if you want to and also next next week we will be Jack Ray and I will be playing uh, some Kingdom of the Sky which I hope you guys will enjoy it's a nice custom map and what else is happening there will be some Christmas surprises along the way so look out for them and this has been me Hazza see you guys